Welcome back to yet another map video where we take a look at the best maps I found and created. So let's get started. This first map shows us the world divided into 8 regions with 1 billion people in each. The fact that Asia is divided into so many colors is crazy. Meanwhile, Americas is just one color. And Europe plus Russia as well. Imagine if these colors were all countries. Which color would take over the world? What do you think? Here's a map showing all the politicians killed in Mexico since the start of this year, 2024. God damn, well, we must admit, the drugs have won the war. I went to Mexico last year and it's true, the cartels control everything, even the avocados now. Chinga la madre wey. Mexicanos, cuéntenme, ¿cómo se siente vivir en México ahora? This map shows us the percentage of people that say they wash their hands with soap after going to the toilet. Italianos and Dutch people, I need some explanations. Why don't you wash your hands after going to the toilet? Anyways, Balkans and Turkish are doing a really good job. As we can see, Bosnia is leading this map. These countries are hosting the most refugees in the world. A refugee is a person that has to escape their country because of war or a natural disaster. Some sources tell us that in the world there are between 35 to 130 million refugees. I honestly don't know what to believe anymore, but the numbers are absolutely crazy. Anyways, it looks like they increased Australia's landmass and removed New Zealand. Ah, what a classic. Well, well, these are the countries that had people displayed at zoos. It might be surprising, but there's a bunch of countries missing from this list. For example, Switzerland and Canada. Throughout the history, there have been around 35,000 people displayed at zoos, but most of them were paid, but some weren't. The most populous cities in every European country. The green color means that it's the capital and the red color means that it is not the capital. Interestingly, the most populous city in all of Europe, Istanbul, with 15 million people, is not the capital of Turkey. Do you know what the real capital of Turkey is? Tell me in the comments. And if you get it right, I will give you a heart. I promise. Here's a map showing when countries were introduced to the television. Liechtenstein and Botswana didn't get TV until 2008. This was 80 years after the first country with TVs, the United States. Television stations started in the US in 1939. But in India, the television was first introduced in 1959. Coats of arms of European countries. I love how it's either the simplest design possible or the most baroque design possible, no in between. But overall, I think Andorra wins because they have two cows in their coats of arms. Finland's one looks like it has a retarded lion that's stabbing itself in the head. Suomi Perkele. Tell me, which one is your personal favorite and your least favorite? This next map shows us the grapes yield in every country. China is the largest producer of grapes with 17% of global production. Then Italy comes second at 12% and the third place goes to France at 8%. But here's a more detailed map for you, take a look at it. The countries by grape production in 2020. Take a look at this, here's a comic map of Europe in the year 1871. I love how Scandinavia is just chilling, relaxing and smoking a pipe while the entire continent is in chaos. Switzerland as well is portrayed really well here. But surprise surprise, Russia hasn't changed much, haven't they? This map shows us the world's happiest people. 
the darker the color green is, the happier they are. As you all may know, for 7 consecutive years, Finland has been named as the happiest country in the world, followed by Iceland and Denmark. And the least happy country in the world is Afghanistan, followed by Lebanon. Tell me, are you happy with your life? The population changed in Britain and Ireland between 1821 and 2019. Isn't it just crazy how Ireland had more than half of Britain's population at that time? But nowadays England and Wales really exploded in population, didn't they? Just imagine what the population will be in 50 years, how will the people fit in these isles? This one is for you, Viking fans! What we can see is the Viking raids and settlements from the 8th to 11th century. And who knew that they held power of such large territories in Russia? Vikings were actually the first ones to reach America, before Christopher Columbus. And it's just crazy to think that they even reached Sicily and Paris. I found this really interesting app or website. It shows us every mountains, buildings and tree shadow in the world in real time. This is great for photography and new house buyers, especially here in the north of Estonia where I live. Go check it out, I'm really sure it has your house in there. Are you closer to Georgia or are you closer to Georgia? Yes, this map is a tricky one. Actually, it shows you are you closer to the country, Georgia, or are you closer to the United States state, Georgia. If my eyes don't lie, the country of Georgia wins clearly here. It has more countries closer to it. Where do international students of the United States come from? At any given time, there is about 1 million international students in the US. Almost 500,000 students only from China and India in the US. That's almost half of the population of my home country, Estonia. What's even more crazy is that South Korea is the third, given its small population. They really do love the United States. If you're still here, comment I love maps and I'll be happy I guess. Okay, until next time, bye bye.